Okay, I have these uh, stopper, they're too far away from that edge. So when I put a bit of tension here, um, let's see if I add cams on my uh, gussets, it, this is too, too soft. So I need to get closer with this stationary uh, stopper. Okay, just transferring my lines for my uh, aft, uh, for my back of the fuse latch. Just want to correct the correct angle here. So whatever my line was, with the squares, a ruler, two small lines, and we cut to it. I've made all my blocks. It's pretty easy, but there are a lot of blocks. And uh, next time is uh, putting some wax paper everywhere, and then gluing. Of course, when I did the uh, blocks, uh, I did the two at the same time, so they should fit. Uh, Pretty damn close to the next one, or what scenario we just. All right, I let I removed all my pieces. Make sure there's wax paper. Now uh, these are all in order. I plan on <clears throat> putting uh, glue on all the uh, open grain, uh, like a first coat everywhere. Same for all the gussets, and then uh, just to make sure that it can absorb. The, the glue for a while as we see in the previous video make sure there's no uh, glue starvation then I'll put uh, of course glue on both sides then reassemble the thing yeah also I was not proud of myself because uh, I guess I didn't plan this uh, well enough but I finally used a lot of uh, staples to prevent uh, shifting it was really good so again in theory it doesn't matter the holes They'll be filled again with the other glue from the other, the other cap. But uh, yeah, so like this, it prevents the piece from going that away. And uh, yeah, it was a must after all. Because for those of you don't, who don't work with epoxy, uh, that T88, it's such a, it, it's like having grease. It just, just flows everywhere. It just glides on the piece. Uh, yeah, also, I thought this, uh, after all, that uh, table was a bit of an overkill. But after all, it's really good for, uh, for putting some of those, some clamps, to keep it flat. Because there was a bit of tension here and there sometimes. And to make sure it squishes all back together. So I thought that was uh, a good plus. Also, you can move it around. If uh, once this is half dry or something, I can remove the big clamps, put it somewhere else. The other side is going to be for making all the laminates. A laminated uh, curve for the top of the fuse. All right, here it is. That was a lot of work. I uh, did, it, did it in a one shot, which was not smart, I think, but at least uh, I don't have to worry about cleaning some the interior for some uh, for the other gussets when they go in. So it took uh, at least uh, two and a half hours, but put the the tapering piece, the straights, all of those. Uh, I had those all set up in line, all the uh, verticals and diagonals uh, in order. And I started with putting some glue on the ends, on the end grain, and then, and then came back and then put some glue on the other side of the stringers, the launch rounds. And then uh, when I came back with the other piece, which were pre-glued, uh, about 25% of them were really dry, so they had suck up a lot of the epoxy. So I personally highly rec suggest and recommend, actually the instruction says to put it on both sides. So I would put glue on both sides. And uh, I did the same thing for the gussets. I put a coat of glue on all the end grains of the gussets, all the way to the back, and came back, uh, pre-glued uh, the other side of the stringer, and then squished another, make sure there was uh, glue uh, everywhere on the end grains of the gussets. Uh, even more, half of my gussets are BC fur, which if you read the instruction says also that BC fur uh, is supposed to suck up on end grain a lot of, uh, a lot of, the, of the, the epoxy. All right, so as usual, I did some uh, destructive tests. Um, so I'll, I'll be hammering at those, make sure we're good. I'll put the, the date, and I'll save one for, uh, for fun. 
Not too proud of all the uh, staples for stabilizing it, but uh, should be good. It's going to be a pain in the butt also to remove because now the, there's epoxy on top of it. But all good, I think. I hope my dimensions are good. Right, Kendrick?